Benson gets a shot at it, but he muffs the kick. Still elects to take it out. Didn't have to. And he will not make it to the 20-yard line. Jordan Travis wasting no time taking a shot here early. So on second and 10 from the 17. Another pass play. Travis over the middle. Caught for a first down. Past the 40 is Johnny Wilson. Now they're going to run a huge lane right between the tackles. Ward inside the 30 and finally shoved out of bounds at the 28. Well, it's really the balance of this offense. The ability to throw it with Travis and run the football with Trey Sean Ward, Trey Benson. Of its eight opening halves this season. Ward trying to cut it back and he loses a couple of yards. That's his two best areas of improvement. One yard loss, play action. And a tight end screen inside the 20-yard line. Douglas to the 15 and down near the 12. Turn tight out in front, paving a path for a big game. Travis fires over the middle, caught for a touchdown by Micah Pittman. What a great start for the Knowles at home. For the Buccaneers, his brother Michael Jr. starring for the Colts in the NFL right now. A little play action pass, get those linebackers and safeties up. Middle of the field's wide open. Took just under two minutes, six plays, 83 yards. The Wake Forest defense struggled last week and a slow start for the Demon Deacons. Safety comes up, easy shot over the top. See plenty of that all throughout this ball game today, Dave. They run it and they get it to midfield. Justice Ellison plows forward, a flag down though, picked up about five yards. For the first time since his last year there at Memphis. Here's Trey Sean Ward trying to cut it back. And the ball comes out and it was recovered momentarily by Wake, but then Pittman hops on it. Now it's third down and six. Low snap. Scooped up, and Travis passes, caught but well short of the first down. Deep for Wake Forest. It's a big stop, considering how good Florida State looked on that first drive. Morin has to back up a little bit, has to adjust, and then immediately at the 20-yard line and dumped. Great play downfield. Making a decision, the running back's finding a hole. It's impressive. Turner in trouble in the backfield, and down he goes. Slicing in there to make the play was DJ Lundy. Loss of a yard or two. Really nice job here by Lundy, just picking his way. Is that kind of reference? Adam Fuller's been dialing up a lot on third down this season. Let's see if he comes after Hartman. On third and 12, Hartman surveying, fires to an open man, and a nice grab by A.T. Perry, picking up 15. 6'5", long arms, goes up and grabs that football. First team all ACC last year, Hartman, as somehow Perry got free, the mesh messed with everybody. But a huge play here in third and goal from the two. He'll keep it on the ground with Turner, and pushing the pile. May have gotten in, waiting for a signal. They're going to mark him short. It'll be fourth and goal. It is Turner. Falls forward. No signal yet. Boy, it looked like he got in, and there's the signal. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Drive from one yard out. No question. Dave Clawson saying we're going to line up and run it right at him. Extra offensive lineman, two tight ends in the game. And Christian Turner, 5'11", 200 pounds, pulls his way into the end zone. Matthew Dennis on for the point after. Smooth operation there. Travis with a quick throw to the flat. And up past the 30. Dragging everybody all the way to midfield. I love the kick out block by Micah Pittman on the outside. And this is 6'7, 235. We referenced it earlier. So tough to tackle. So third down and nine for Travis. Pressure off the edge. Travis on the move. Throws it downfield and high. Going for Malik McLean. Fourth down. They've got to get that short up with the left tackle, Darius Washington. No Robert Scott and no Bless Harris for the Seminoles at tackle. On angle toward the near side, and it takes a Florida State bounce inside the 10-yard line. Defensive end comes crashing in, no linebacker over the top. 
Gonna run it again, and a backside play is made for a loss at the 16-yard line. You talked about the run game has been good until that play. They struggled rushing the ball this year. Hartman throwing it, and it's a first down catch for Mr. Reliable A.T. Perry. Out to the 23. Saw them last week take a lot of shots down the field, working much more the intermediate routes here so far. To the air again, Hartman looking, firing down the seam, and we'll see if they throw a flag. Yep, here comes a flag for interference. And playing on ABC right now, and then tonight, you got unbeaten Florida State. Wake Forest trying to hand the Knolls their first loss. They just picked up third and one with a run by Justice Ellison. Hartman's going to hand it off, and getting the edge is Ellison inside the 35, inside the 20. Inside the 10, and then finally Smoke got out of bounds. This is time out. First and goal game at 34. Devontae Gordon on the right side doing a good job. Up top, single up to the boundary. On third and goal, Hartman to the air, waiting, in trouble. Oh, but the block got picked up, so he finds Perry for the touchdown. If he stepped up anymore, he was going to get creamed, but an offensive lineman picked up. Time to find Perry for the go-ahead score. Well, man, Sam Hartman, as you mentioned, buying himself some time, keeps his eyes down the field, and it's smart by A.T. Perry to work away from the coverage of a Marion Cooper. Got to stay with him. A.T. Perry comes open, and Hartman finds him for six. And it's 14-7. to seven. <laughs> Do I even need to answer? <laughs> Travis in trouble in the backfield and falls forward. The ball came out at the 38-yard line. Wake's got it. Travis turns it over. Watch the effort from 15 Tatum Bethune from the backside. He's going to chase this down and make an excellent play, ripping underneath and getting that ball out. Outstanding job by Bethune. Hey, you watch Hudson here come backside for the Demon Deacons defense. Wake Forest so good at taking the ball away from opponents. Hartman grabbed and thrown down at the 40-yard line by Robinson. Wake Forest had 18 consecutive games with a takeaway until last week. Did not get one against Clemson. They had six against Florida State last year and a Demon Deacon victory. 34 of the last 36 games, Wake has at least one takeaway. See Adam Fuller there dialing up a little bit, bringing Jamie Robinson from depth. Hartman going to throw, checks it down, wide open is Christian Turner. A breakdown defensively, nobody had the back. After the turnover, quick change, Wake is on third and long, and Hartman downfield, ball is caught inside the five, and in the end zone for the touchdown, Donovan Green with an incredible grab, excellent coverage by Florida State. But Hartman hooks up with Green again. They did it twice last week. Going to bring the blitz. Blitz right in the face of Hartman. He stands firm in there. How about the ball placement? Back shoulder and the one-handed grab by Donovan Green. Bringing it in and getting to the end zone. Dusty, that's the play. That is the play that Adam Fuller, the defensive coordinator, said his guys had to make this week. Because Clemson did not make them last week. Green's in perfect position there, Tom. Yep. Just ball put right on that outside arm and an excellent job bringing it in. What happened last week? And then the uncertainty of whether this game would be played at all because of the hurricane. And this veteran team has shown up. Off to a great start. Here's Trey Benson. Big return past the 40. Oh, the kicker made the play at the 45. Otherwise, that would have been two touchdowns in two weeks for Benson. It's 21-7, Demon Deacons, but a long way to go. Good start with the kickoff return by Benson, and now here's Treshawn Ward moving the pile all the way past the line of the game to the 45 of Wake Forest. From Treshawn Ward, get back to running the football on the ground. In trouble in the backfield is Ward, wrapped up by Kobe Turner, a grad transfer from Richmond. Business decision to come to Wake because he thinks it'll help him get to the next level. Well, Kobe Turner's been fantastic for this defensive line. You see him just get up the field. Third down and 13. Got to get to the 35 of Wake Forest. 
Travis going to throw it underneath out of the backfield. Benson, and he's got no shot. But you're right, we've barely seen him because he's injured. Just trying to give him something in a couple of plays. Hartman's pass is caught and breaking a tackle to get the first down. Keyshawn Williams. Keep a close eye on what's going on there with Bryce Young. Alabama up big on Arkansas. Wake Forest up big on Florida State. And looking to add to the lead. First down pickup, Justice Ellison. Easy pitch and catch. Wake 7 of 9 on third down. Ellison falls forward. Did not get it. Leonard Warner on the stop. Ellison gets the first down and more. They just gash him right up the gut. And Ellison just dumped him. Second and ten. They're going to run Ellison. And he's drilled. It's like to bring in pressure. Wick, seven of ten. Third and long. Hartman in trouble. Gets rid of the pass downfield. Incomplete. A lot of contact. And a flag. Five of five. Two touchdowns. Third down and twelve. Hartman in trouble. This time he's sacked. And it's Jared Verse. Giving Florida State everything he's got. Limited reps today because of injury. But makes it. Verse is healthy. He's going to be. One of the best defensive linemen in all of college football. Watch the inside move he makes on Nash. Then even pins the back of Mangan and ricochets back up into the quarterback. Huge sack to get this null defense off the field. 44-yard field goal try from Matthew Dennis. It's hugging the right upright, and it's no good. And give them some momentum heading into the half. Ward running left. What a gain of 16. Nice job blocking off the left side. Dylan Gibbons gets out in front. Uh, check that. I'm sorry. It was Travis. First down throw to Benson, who is out there on the edge. Huge, crucial conversion on third down. Nearing two minutes to go. Travis from the pocket, pressure up the middle. Uh, Travis escapes, throws on the run, and it's a strike to Pittman inside the 25, down to the 22. Travis getting in a groove now, throwing the ball. Well, I love how when he breaks the pocket, watch his eyes. They stay downfield, and he's talking to Michael Pittman, conducting traffic. Third down and six for Florida State with a little bit of momentum. Keep it on the ground with Toa Philly straight ahead. And a first down pickup to the 11-yard line. Gain of seven. Trailed 7-0 just a couple minutes into the game. And run it again here on second down and nowhere to go. Ward taken down. For the Knowles. Kobe Turner has been a one-man wrecking crew in the middle of that Wake Forest defensive front. Just getting up the field, penetrating. One-on-one -on -one in the boundary. Big catch radius. Travis on third down and long to the end zone and double coverage incomplete. He was trying to hit his tight end, Cameron McDonald. Let him go use that length, that size. Go make a play. Yeah, no over-the-top safety either. Ryan Fitzgerald has struggled this year, and he missed again. He's now four for eight. His long is 30. And for Mike Norvell in Florida State, it's about third down. And I don't mean just converting third downs, staying ahead of the chains and staying out of third and eight plus. Wake Forest averaging about third and four, third and eight plus for Florida State. Hardman with time and another on-target throw to A.T. Perry. Stiff-arming down the sideline inside the 40. Tried to hurdle. Jamie Robinson, it was shoved out of bounds. Wait, A.T. Perry's got that great size, but you've got to be a better tackling team for Florida State. Excellent route coming back, working to the football. Six catches already, 74 yards and a touchdown for Perry. 20 career touchdowns. Hartman waits forever and delivers another strike to Perry. Wake Forest trying to get to four and one and hand Florida State its first loss of the season. Hartman checking it down to Ellison, makes the defender miss inside the 20, lowers the boom on another Noel downfield. Game. No doubt, I was just going to point out the same thing to you. They're trying to cheat late. Ellison waiting for the hole to open inside the five, dies for the end zone. Touchdown, Wake Forest. 27 unanswered points by the Demon Deacons with a point after coming.
But Justice Ellison just having himself a career day. Excellent double team inside. They get good movement. And then it's Jaeger Bull, 83, coming back across. Key block there on Deloach. Ellison the rest of the way with that forward lean sneaking under Seminole defenders. Not the prettiest looking point after, but it goes through and it's 28 to seven. Florida State missed a 44 yard field goal. A 29 yard field goal, excuse me, at the end of the first half. Over the middle, Pittman who had the touchdown catch in the first quarter on the first drive. Takes defenders for a ride for 24 yards. Nice job here by Jordan Travis. Little Reed gonna bring that safety. Mustafa down, middle of the field's open. And it's From the 46 of Florida State. They fake the pitch. Travis looking downfield to Pittman. Pulled in at the 30-yard line. 24 more yards. Pittman's been the spark. Time for Jordan Travis to survey the field and find Micah Pittman coming open in the middle of the field. Nice route. Travis instead looking the other way. Span right at the line to gain. Made the catch. We'll see where they spot it. From one official, marked it short. They get up there and snap it quickly. Travis over the middle. Caught at the six. Malik McLean down to the five. It's first and goal. FSU. Travis on first and goal. Hands it off. No running room for Toa Feely. Hog tied and thrown down at the line of scrimmage. Wake with nine in the box. Travis throwing end zone. Got a man. It's Pittman in the corner. Touchdown, Florida State. Second of the day for Pittman. Well, Michael Pittman working out of the slot. I just love the ball placement right here from Jordan Travis. Put it up high and outside. He must really not trust his kicker at this point. That must be it. Play fake. Travis waiting. Now on the move. Pointing. Throwing. And it's intercepted in the end zone. It's in year three after four seasons at Memphis. Was an assistant at Arizona State. In trouble. Hunt and a sack. They finally get to him. But Wake was able to convert on third and long the entire first half. This is a little bit taller test. In trouble again. Hartman sacked again. Back inside the 25-yard line. Joshua Farmer. Fourth and long. He's going to get a chance at a return here. We'll see. Moore tries to kick it away from him. A lot of hang time. Pittman is under it. At the 35, at the 40, there he goes. Flag is down. Pittman hurdles the defender. Right on cue with a great return, but it might come back. Penalty marker down at the 33-yard line. You know what's fascinating here? What a return here by Micah Pittman. He's really been the bright spot for the Seminole offense and here on special teams as well. Good job getting out in front. How about the hurdle, though? And he will spin it here and just dump it off to the back. Nice move. War first down and out of bounds. But after he moved the chains. 28-13. Again, they went for two instead of kicking the extra point on the last touchdown. Travis in trouble. Grabbed. Thrown down. And the ball comes out at the 38-yard line. Against the run via the pass. He's really done a nice job all throughout this ball game. And again, working over there on Darius Washington. Good job with his hands pressing that pocket. They blow this dead. Look at those numbers on third down. Perfect for Hartman. Third and four. Pressure in his face. Got it away. And it's a strike for a first down of the 26. Tied in and Trey Bowl barely open. Sam Hartman finds him and converts on third down. Hartman flattened at the 25-yard line, a one-yard loss. Four-man rush, Hartman in trouble, and sacked back at the 18 by Kalen Deloach. So the Florida State defense gets off the field. Could not find anybody open, and it's Kalen Deloach, one of the leaders of this defense. On a delayed blitz, comes clean and gets Hartman to the ground for a huge Seminole stop. Let's see if Moore kicks it to Pittman. The last punt return was about 40 yards. 
Good hang time on this one. Signals for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 42-yard line. But it will certainly cool down all the discussion about the Knowles being back as national contenders. Travis going downfield, single coverage, incomplete, and a flag. And that was a poorly thrown ball. That's actually what led to the pass interference. On second and four, Travis downfield. Oh, great grab down the seam by Cameron McDonald. Inside the 20 to the 14-yard line. Do they trust their place kicker? Second and three. Travis on the option. Keeps inside the five and thrown out of bounds at about the three-yard line by A.J. Williams. It is a first down. It's the belief that Mike Norvell talked about is instilled in this team and in this program. Travis, quarterback draw. Wake Forest not fooled, and he gets tagged at the five-yard line. Big hit by Dylan Hazen. A lo loss of one, second and goal. There's Johnny Wilson up top, one-on-one. -on -one. Fade to Wilson and just makes the catch for the touchdown. That was no contest. He had an eight-inch height advantage over J.J. Roberts. This time around, at 6'7", he is such an imposing force. And a really nice job coming back to and fighting for that football. 9.32 to go. You don't get this here. It's a two-possession game. Chance to get within seven. Travis on the rollout, looking for the throwback, and it's there. It's caught for two points by Marquiston Douglas. And savvy play calling right here. And Jordan Travis pays it off and gets Florida State back in this ballgame. He's made so many great plays today. Had six touchdowns in defeat last week. We'll see what he does here on second and long. Looking downfield and throws another dart out to the 40-yard line to Keyshawn Williams for a gain of 14. And Jared Verse is on the field for Florida State. He's right over the ball. Hartman with time. Long throw. Sean Williams. Big one right here. And they're going to run it. Florida State maybe didn't expect that. And it's a gain of about seven. I actually, I like the call. He trusts his quarterback to make the right decision here. Hartman to the air. On for it down. Wide open receiver. Caught at the 32 for a first down. Again, it's Keyshawn Williams. On second and eight. Some room off the right side and a broken tackle by Turner to get the first down. Peyton, who missed the tackle on Christian Turner that's shaken up. Would you say massive run here by Christian Turner off the right side? That bunch, you got A.T. Perry and Williams. They will just hand it off inside the 10, inside the 5 is Turner down to the 4, first and goal. Third and goal from the two. Wake trying to go up two scores. Here's Turner in trouble in the backfield, and down he goes at the five-yard line. And there is Jared Verse. This is a 27-yarder to push the lead to 10. They do have two blocks, Florida State, but not that time. The kick is good, and the lead is 10. No timeouts left, 2.55 on the clock. Travis to the sideline. Nice catch. By Wilson and out of bounds at the 39, 14 yards, and the clock stops at 2.50 to go. You go up and get that, pluck it out of the air, and bring it in before he steps out. Here's the interesting thing as you look at the clock, as Travis looks to throw here on second down. Again, he finds Wilson out of bounds. 2.12 left, third down and seven. Travis in trouble, just gets rid of it, and completes it close to the line to gain to Douglas. It's going to be just short, though, fourth down. And you would imagine, again, have to score a touchdown again since they don't believe in their kicker. And they're going to run the ball here on fourth down and get the first down with Ward. Clock will stop to reset the chains. They're going to try to get up to the line of scrimmage with 150 to go. They played much better than they had the last couple of weeks. Got a lot of resolve, man. Third and long. Travis from the pocket. Over the head of the intended receiver. And again, a lot of contact. Douglas, the intended target, Chase Jones in coverage to keep Florida State's hopes alive for the moment. 
and it's no good. Wide to the right. Wake Forest takes over, and the Demon Deacons 113 away from victory. Hey, don't count this Wake Forest team out and the Atlantic Division race. Remember, they still have that championship belt. You asked Dave Clawson, are you concerned at all about bouncing back after everything that happened last week?